One of my viewers wanted me to do a video on my bucket level indicator for the LA340 or 344 loader, which is the brand new loader for Kubota BXs. Um, the BX2380, BX23S will come with this loader and it'll be an option to buy this bucket level indicator. Um, there's guys that'll tell you, oh, you don't need it and just use the uh, the flat mark on the, on the top of the bucket. And I think that's total crap because it's hard to use the top of the bucket to indicate where you're at. I mean, yeah, you could see the flat spot, but depending on the bucket you have for the BX, whether it's the newer one or the older one, it's very hard to, uh, you know, it's not a very big flat surface on top, so it can be hard to see where you're at. Um, not to mention, depending on if you're outside in the dark or, it, you know, if it's covered with snow. I mean, there's, there's a million and one reasons of why a little sticker on top of the bucket is not good enough. Um, so anyway, here's the bucket level indicator. They go for about $65. It's an optional add-on. Um, the bucket level indicator should come with this little bracket here, which is what guides the shaft and tells you whether or not you're level or not. There'll be a mount on the top of the loader. This is basically the cross member of the loader. There'll be this mount here. It looks like 12 millimeter bolts. That'll go into it to mount this bracket. Um, down, down below here, it should come with this other bracket here that has, it looks like two 10 millimeter bolts holding it on, if you can see. So you should see there's like an ear coming off of your skid steer quick attach that this will mount to. If you don't have the skid steer quick attach, I'm not sure if they put a place for the bucket level indicator, you would have to look, but you should have some kind of ear or tab hanging off the side with two holes and that'll be for this mount for your indicator. Um, let me come around to the other side here and you can see how it comes through. So they're not threaded holes, but they're just drill holes, okay? And uh, the bolts come through a nut. So here's the bottom bracket. As you can see, not the rod itself, but the rod sleeving that the rod goes into actually just has a hole. It slides onto the pin, and you, and you put a cotter pin in it. Uh, okay, so following it up, you have this bolt off the side. What that does is that allows you to adjust this rod in and out from the, the body itself. So if you need to adjust it, you will loosen this up and you will, and you will slide this rod in and out of the sleeving here. Um, so that's pretty much all there is to adjusting it. Um, you, when you wanna know if you're level or not, what you do is you get this notch here resting on the inside of this bracket. So basically that bracket will be right on that notch and that's how you know you're level. So that's how you wanna adjust it. So you want your bucket level and you want this bracket right here to ride on the crotch of this rod. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. It's $65, it's real easy to install. The hardest part maybe for some people would be to adjust it. Uh, and that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, he told me that there wasn't any other videos on YouTube about this. So I just wanted to make one to kind of clarify for people in case you want to buy it as an add-on for your loader like I did. Um, and they're unaware of how to install it. I didn't install this myself when I bought the loader. I told them because I, I knew how valuable a bucket level indicator was. I told them just to get it for me. And, uh, and as a courtesy, they said that they would install it for me. So that was nice. Um, but yeah, like I said, from what I can tell, so you got four main pieces. You got one bracket up top, which is your guide for your rod. You got one bracket at, at the bottom, which is your mounting bracket for the sleeving, okay? And then you got the sleeving tube here, okay? And that's what the rod slides in and out of, and then you have the rod itself. So I don't know if they come all apart, but if they do, basically just find the end that goes in the tube, slide it in, and just snug it up for now. Put your brackets on, so install your bracket, slide a tube up through the bracket, and then I would mount my bottom uh, bracket. Once that's mounted, you could slide it on and pin it. And after that, level your bucket out, and then you want to crack this back loose again. You want to adjust this rod up or down so that it that this bracket is resting in the crotch. And then once you have it there, you want to snug this, this bolt back down. Now, a couple things to keep in mind. You will want to keep an eye on this and maybe check it every now and then for how true it is because I've bumped this before. I've actually bent this bracket here, pushing and bulldozing trees down. I've had a limb catch this and bend this bracket. And I used it for like... I don't know, a couple hours after, I'm going, what is going on with this thing? And I'm digging into the ground, and then I looked, and I seen that the bracket was bent. Because the first thing I looked for was, I was looking at the rod to see if maybe this adjuster had come loose. Um, but that wasn't the case. I had actually bent this bracket. 
So be, be sure when you go under trees and whatnot and you're bulldozing and pushing stuff over, make sure you don't hit this bracket. And if you think you did, I would recheck it again. And then another thing to keep an eye on is making sure that this jam nut stays tight. Um, because otherwise, if this thing loosens up and this rod starts to fall, you're going to be out of adjustment. And you're going to start tearing up your lawn and digging up where you don't want to dig. So that wouldn't be good. So yeah, that's pretty much all there is to the BX2380 uh, bucket level indicator or LA340 slash 344 bucket level indicator. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. Reach out in the comments below and uh, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks.